Hello everyone, welcome again in this tutorial. So today we will talk about the Modbus module or the RS8485 uh, module, okay? So this module, the one we can see here, let me activate my, uh, my pointer, <coughs> highlighter first, okay? So this is the module okay that we will work on today this module actually is a converter it will convert from ttl logic that's the logic which is can be connected to any embedded system like pic arduino or any other uh, mcu and it can give us a connectivity to uh, rs485 or Modbus. Okay, in this tutorial, we will talk about point to point network. Okay, we will cover no point to point network. In the next tutorial, we will cover more complex uh, networks. Okay, so this, this module again it's based on the Max 485 chipset. This is the one that located here in the middle okay and since we are working with point to point so our network will be something like this okay where we have only two nodes the first node or what we call uh, master and the second is slave or sometimes they call it transmitter and receiver or what they call it in the mod bus the driver the driver and the receiver Okay, so this is what we discuss in this tutorial. Okay, so this is the construction of the module. Let me change to pen. Okay, this is the construction of this module. This is the main chip, the MAX 485. This is the main chip that we are using now. Okay, and this main chip, it will connect it to an MCU using this 4 bin okay receiver output receiver enable uh, driver enable driver input okay and from this side we need to supply the VCC and ground and also A and B A and B is the two wires that will be connected to another module that's been used to transmit and receive the data these two wires Okay, these resistors, the rest of the resistor, these pull up resistors, and this also. Here we have pull down resistor, and also we have termination resistor. These all already implemented in the module, so no need to worry about. These all already implemented. Okay, so we just need to connect our wire, connect this side to an MCU. MCU. Okay, and here we connect to our next network, and then we will have our network established, okay? So, why we are focusing on the Modbus or the RS-485? Well, there are uh, a lot of benefits that are behind this module, but the main uh, points are, it provides a digital communication system, where it's communicate the information over the twisted pair wire, okay? And this twisted pair wire can be, uh, go for a very long distance, can go up to 1,000 something meter, which is more than one kilometer, okay? Uh, also can support up to 32 transceiver, more than 32 transceivers mean more 32 uh, node, more than 32 nodes, then we might need a repeater. We will discuss about this later. But maximum can support uh, 32 node or points on the network. But so far we will talk about only two, uh, two points, which is point to point. And also the communication rate can go up to 10 megabit per second, which is quite high. Okay. And by the way, it's utilized a balanced output 
and differential inputs. This, these two terms mean it has very high immunity against the noise, okay? Because it utilizes balanced output and differential inputs, it will be very immune against the noise and also uh, it will be very robust compared to a normal communication system such as RS-232, okay? One more thing, it also has the ability to set the node into uh, what they call uh, disconnected or uh, disabled mode, okay? Why? Because we have uh, three modes. We have tri-state capabilities, uh, which is enable the transmitter and or enable the receiver or disable it, okay? So that's make it uh, compatible for multiple transceiver to be connected at the same network, okay? Again, because we support or this model support tri-state, tri-state means has three states, which is uh, set the node as transmitter, set the node as receiver, or set the node as disabled, especially if you, let's say you have more than one node and you wanna talk to only between two of them, let's say you have node number one, node number two and node number three okay we want to talk only from this node to this node but the wire will be connected like this so definitely this node need to be disabled the receiver and transmitter so it can directly talk only to this node so that's why we have three states this means either you can set it as a receiver or transmitter or disabled so it can be have multiple transceiver for example here we have three transceivers okay to be connected with only two wires with multi drop points okay so these are the main features that uh, push me to make a tutorial about this uh, module which is very very important and very famous in the industry uh, applications okay so now we come to the connection between the Arduino and the RS-485 modules, okay? So here we have two nodes, node A, node B. So this is the first node, this is the second node. So now, to, to, in order to connect them, I will connect the RE with DE and connect it to pin number 12. By the way, this module, it read the data as a serial you can just treat it as a serial uh, output then it will convert the output to uh, uh, what they call to differential output so it can be linked to the next network so from here we can connect b to b and a to a let's say we convert to, 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 to say black and a we connect to A, okay? So from here, we need serial only, and here also we need serial to talk to this module, and this module will talk to each other using the differential output, uh, just using two, uh, this twisted pair, as we see just now, okay? So again, I will talk, I will connect the REDE to pin number 12, here also same, where's the pointer in so the red, again, R, E, D, E, I will connect to pin number 12. This is for the enable. And uh, then, let me change the ink again. Mm, check this color. Then, D, I, the driver input, I will connect it to pin number 11. This one will be equal to pin number 11. This one will go to be number 11. Mm. Check again, let's say blue. And the R, 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 O, or receiver out will be connect to number 10.
Okay, so this is our network, and for sure, by the way, before we forgot, we need the ground and uh, we need the ground and the VCC for sure. Let me take this color. So ground need to go to the ground, and the VCC need to go to VCC. Need to go to five volt VCC. Please support 5 volt VCC. VCC and ground. Go to ground. Okay. So this is our network. I cut it from here. So this is node number one. This is node number two. So the distance here. This one can go up to one kilometer. Okay, the distance between node one, node two can go up to one kilometer. This is the beauty of this module. Without very, I mean, without the, without suffering from any effect of noise or any disturbance of the signal. Okay, so, this is the, the connection, more proper connection, is the same as what we discussed just now. REDE connect to pin number 12, DI connect to pin number 11, RO number 10, same goes to here, VCC ground also to, the, <clears throat> to each node, and these are the network cable, the twisted pair cable that might go up to one kilometer. Yes, guys, one kilometer is very, very beautiful module. Okay, and especially in industry, it's very famous module. Okay, so now we have finished with this. So let's go to see how we can connect this in the breadboard. And also we start to develop the code for this module. Okay, let's go. Yeah, so here we already connect our module to the Arduino on the breadboard. This is the first node or the master connected to the Arduino Uno. This is another one connected to Arduino Nano. And this is A and B wires connected from node 1 to node 2. For sure this one, the real application, we will use uh, the twisted pair, but here we're just using uh, these single wires for testing. Okay. And here again, we just use same as we discussed before. Okay, we use the DI connect to pin number 10. And also DERE, -E, we short it out, DE and RD, we short it out, then take one wire to pin number 12 and BCC ground and are also connected for both okay so this is the breadboards connection later we will go to develop the software okay okay guys so we have reached to the software part of this tutorial okay so uh, first of all I will go with the master code the master node so this is the master node Okay, so to, for the master, first of all, we need to include the soft serial because we will link it to the soft serial uh, library. So we need to include the software serial.h. Okay, uh, what else we need? Let's declare our variable uh, so we can say mm, hash define. Uh, we have the RS RO pin, RO we connect it to pin number 10, and also. RS uh, DI pin number 11 and also RS pin DE and RE we short them out and connect them to pin number 12 okay let's check should be okay compiler happy now we define these variables we will use it later Okay. Mm, 
So uh, now we need to define the software serial object. So software serial software serial I will call it my R S master of here we should put Rx and Tx if you remember here need to be Rx pin and Tx so the Rx will be the Rs RO and Rx sorry Rs Di okay Rx pin connected to RO which has been number 10 and TX DI pin 11 okay so now we come to the uh, setup setup uh, function we need to initialize the serial and the software serial okay because we will use them serial dot begin mm -hmm. 9600 just standard one and also I need my RS master dot begin and also 9600 okay uh, what else hmm, I need to declare my enable bin okay this is the enable bin so I need to declare it as uh, output. So I will use pin mode. RS DE RE as output. Okay. So let's compile it. For sure, we've done very little things. So I believe the compiler will be happy, no issues. Okay, so now since we are, uh, we have master and slave nodes, and also it's a half, uh, half duplex uh, connection. So we need to declare our enable to high, always high for the for the master. So uh, master. Need to activate this one to high to start the transition. Okay, so we need to set this to high. So digital right, mm, this one. need to be high okay this one should be always high to activate the transmission okay and now we come to the loop that's all for the that's all for the one for the setup so in the loop uh, how we send to the slave for sure we use the RS master which is a soft serial and for sure we will take the data from the soft from the serial or the hardware serial or the normal serial we take from the serial then we write to the software serial okay so we can say here if the serial is available the serial Is available. This mean we type in in something in the serial. Uh, if we type in in the serial, then we need to do, 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 do. Hmm. 
we need to send it to the uh, software serial or the RS master. We just need to RS, uh, sorry, RS master dot write. We need to write what? We need to write the serial dot read. We need to write whatever we read in the soft serial. Okay. So okay. So my master will be com nine. So the master code is done. Okay. Master code is done. That's all. Um, I connect Arduino to com number nine. Let's upload. Okay, it's uploading and done. Good. So now, as we can see, nothing happened. Let's add something here. Uh, we say serial dot serial dot uh, open line. master node is ready this one just to show that the master is ready and uh, already initialized successfully okay so let's see here we go master is ready so now whenever we should type in something we should see it in the slave but we didn't uh, write the slave code yet so for sure we cannot see anything okay so now let's move on to the slave uh, code okay guys so now we have reached to the slave code so let's add command this is the slave node okay so again we need to include the software serial Include software serial uh, Then we need to define our, our variable. Uh, define the RS uh, RO, which is on number ten. And also define RS uh, driver input eleven hash define RS driver enable and also receiver enable pin number twelve as we so it in the schematics uh, okay now we need to declare the soft serial object so we can say soft serial so not soft software serial we can call it rs slave And here we need the RS receiver output and also RS driver input. Okay, this is our object. Uh, what next? Uh, that should be all. Now we need to go to the setup function. In the setup function for sure we need to initialize and begin the software serials because we have software and the hardware serial. So we start with the hardware serial dot begin. Uh, 9600 the power rate and also same to the RS slave by the way for the RS slave it they should match the frequency or the power rate of the uh, master if you said there is 9600 here it should be also 9600 if you just change the frequency or the baud rate on the master slave should be matched 
Okay, so here also need to be begin and again 9600. Uh, now we need to initialize the driver output or driver enable to output. So we need to use pin mode. The RS driver enable receiver enable as output output okay and now since this one is slave okay since this one is slave the the enable pin should be low because the, the slave will be only received Since this slave mode, which is always receive the enable pin need to be low. Okay, so digital right. We need to set the. Uh, Enable pin into low always. Okay, so now we finish with the finish with the setup. Now we come to the uh, loop. So in the loop, we need to check if the Software serial is available here. If the RS slave is available, for sure, I forgot to break it here. If this is available, we just need to write on the serial or the hardware serial. So we can say hardware serial or serial dot write whatever we can read from the super serial or RS sleeve dot three. Yeah, here. Yeah, okay. So if we get any information is ready to be read on the software serial or the slave, then we directly will be write it to the soft or the hardware serial. Okay. So I believe that's all. Let's add some uh, to display some comments on the serial. So serial dot print line. We can say the slave node is ready. Yeah, that's all. So the slave I use Arduino Nano, COM number five, that's all. Let's send it and see if everything goes well. Okay, it's updating and done. Beautiful. So now five, the slave is ready. Uh, let's me. Let me open the, the master. Here we go. This is the master. And this is the slave. Let me bring this one here. Bring this one. So now if we send from the master, say hi. You see, we receive it at the slave. This is the slave. But if we send from the slave, cannot be sent. So we send any data here. Let's say one, two, three. You see, we receive it. One, one, two, two, three, three. Okay, we receive. But anything from here cannot be received. Why? Because it's a one-way communication. Okay. So this is the first tutorial done. We can say for master, we can send data. For example, we can send temperature of 10. 
like this. Then from here, when we receive t equal 10, we can split the, the, the receive string based on the equal. Then we take the first one as identifier or the uh, character, special character that can recognize what is the data for, for example, t is temperature. And after the equal will be the value of that variable, which is the temperature. Okay. This one we'll do it in the next example. But now how we can do both way, for example, now I can send from here, go to the slave, but how if the slave want to respond, how the slave, if slave need to respond to the uh, master. So we need to do some changes, okay? We need to do some changes. Uh, first of all, the change will be uh, here. So the change will be not only if the RS available, then we send, but we have another condition. Uh, we have another condition. If the serial is available, If the seal is available, what we need to do, okay? If now the master need to reply, okay? Uh, sorry, the slave need to reply. Okay, if it is available, first of all, we need to enable the transmitter for the slave itself. So we need to use this and enable it. How to enable it? We just set this to high. Okay, now I want to reply, I need to enable this. After I enable it, then I need to send the data first. I need to enable the, the driver, then send the data. How to send the data? I use the RS slave to write. and write whatever in the serial dot three. Okay. After I send the data, need to disable the driver. How to disable the driver by just using this command again. Okay. Now I can reply to the master by using this code or these small changes. Okay, let's upload to the slave and test again. Okay, done. Okay, so this is the slave and this is the master. Okay, now from master we send, okay, we send to the slave, to the master, we can see nothing yet. Why? We cannot receive anything because the master code is still permanently uh, activate the the, the the driver as transmitter not receiver we always the master always if we go to the master code okay guys so as we said just now we can send from master to slave no problem but from slave still even though we update the code but still got no effect why 
<clears throat> if we double check the master code again, this is the master code, we can notice that the master always activate the driver enable or receiver enable to high, which is preventing it from receiving any information from outside as well, but only sending the data. So we need to change this a bit, okay? So how to change this? We can say here in the master, if the serial is available, If this one available, then we will set this to high, or we can say activate the transmitter. because we have more than one comment after the if, so we need a bracket. So activate the transmitter, then we send the data. Then we need to disable this one set to low, or we need to say uh, activate the receiver, okay? This is with this one available. Now, now, after we finish this, now we can check if we got any information received or the RS master is available. If this one is available, meaning we got any information received by the RS master from the slave, okay, we need to send it to where the serial or the hardware serial. So serial dot write. We write what? We write the data, we read it from the master. So we can say RS master dot read. We send this data. Okay. So now we already and the Arduino Uno 99 is my master and upload. Okay. So now after we finish these small changes, I ex I expect them to uh, communicate with each other as usual. Okay, so now I say from slave. Mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm, not yet. Send to here. Can, but this one. Oh, no, okay, yeah. Because we need to restart the full uh, unit. So now if I send one, two, three, back to the master, no problem. So now from here, for example, I can request the temperature. Then they say, oh, they request the temperature. Then I can say temperature equal to 100 Celsius, like this. Okay, so I can send request and return with the information. Okay, so with this, we have finished the first tutorial. We can say it's very straightforward. Okay, this is the master and the slave code also. So we need to define our uh, bins that we use to communicate or to interface with the RS. A module, then we use the soft serial uh, this library. Also, we define our power rate. Power rate master and slave should be same. This one no need to be matched. And then, uh, in order to make it one way communication, we need to always set this to high. If you want to make it two way communications, then we need to uh, alternate the Enable pin or the transmitter or receiver by using this method. Same goes to the uh, uh, what they call the, the sleeve. Okay, this is the sleeve. Same. This is the IOS pin that we use. Library, soft serial, 
and also we declare our about rate this is the pin that we use to set whether send or receive and there is the code very straightforward okay so i hope you have learned something from this tutorial and uh, thanks a lot for your time and let me know if you need more explanation thank you